What are you doing? Oh, just finishing up some homework. Do you have a supervisor? Oh, I don't have one. Well, you're gonna have to leave. Okay. teachers, on today's agenda, we will be talking about how to raise students' test scores. Yes, Joe? You know how to raise those test scores. You teach the kids Latin. Oh, Jose, Latin, Latin, Latin. What's so bien about Latin? Well, students who take the SAT get higher SAT. <laughs> Guys, let's stay on track. Yeah, guys, there's a lot we need to talk about. Ooh, a ladybug. I need to hit the track. Calves of steel, calves of gold. Rudy, are they shrieking as we speak? Yeah, I haven't done a calf raise in 18 seconds. Oh. Nice, man. Proud of you. Proud of you. <laughs> he thinks he has good calves. Look at this baby. Uh, I think I can help. Let's get it done. Thanks, Queen. All right, I have an appointment to go to. I'm ready. Oh, Vic's ready. Oh, give me a break, Haynack. Love's dad hat. Ready? Break! What? No, no. Everybody sit down. We're not done here. We still. Is this Caldwell? <laughs> Mrs. Caldwell? Leadership needs me! Do them. You have a visitor? Heidi, we need to cook! I, I think you've got the wrong person. You're, you're gonna want to talk to Jan. I said, we need to cook! Easy. Come to the Sunnyside Garden. I'll give you my casserole recipe. Uh, Brian, you got a dollar? <laughs> wait, wait, do you have, wait, can I take my glasses? No. I just, I don't know. Need to help? Students can't be at staff meetings. It doesn't look like a staff meeting to me. Are you recording this? All right, show me a cutaway. Yes. All right, now show me a point of view shot. Alright, that's good. Now you pass. I have the perfect TED talk for this. In Half a century of trying to help prevent wars, there's one question that never leaves me. How do we deal with extreme violence without using force in return? Members, lend me your ear. I got you, Joe. Gratias, Tibiago. We're we're here to assist students in their learning, their discovery of new things, and we're saying it's okay to choke people, to have visits from meth kingpins. Is that what they're calling casseroles these days? Meth? Shh. Or or practicing mind control. No, no, stop it. What is your name? Eric? I'm sorry, that's incorrect. 
Oh! Has Bergie been here the whole time? He never left. What I'm trying to say is, we're a family. Dysfunctional at times, yes, but still a family. Hi, Mills Mills! He doesn't even go here. Hey, senora, hit it. Hitting it! I think so. Alright, let's do it. Hashtag Macklemore, hashtag Seattle, hashtag Oscars, hashtag 
Uh, that was insane. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag, why does Miley Cyrus look like a dude? <laughs> Hashtag, should I get the haircut? Hashtag, psych. Hashtag, that's the wrong number. Hashtag, YouTube. Hashtag, funny. Hashtag, I have no one. Hashtag, I love, 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 love. <laughs> Hashtag, selfie. <laughs> Hashtag, 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 follow me. Hashtag, at Fitch only 23. Hashtag, at Matthew Chain. Hashtag, we can't stop. Hashtag, you. Yeah. Oh, bad. I guess I won't sing. Well, let's bring out our first act, Matt, as if we're not enough, you know. Hashtag, for real. You know what I'm saying? All right, our first act, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Ashley Cates. You guys missed it when Matt was blowing up and having his little freak out and spasm. That was our rules. Um, so we'll just go over. Don't throw things. Don't yell at us. We're doing our best, okay? Just lay off. Um, 
Uh, be respectful, no booing, and um, stay seated. And hashtag a lot. All right. Ashley. Hang on, I go. <laughs> there we go. Ashley. How old are you, Ashley? I'm 17. You're 17. Do you want to be 17 forever? I wish I did. Does that make any sense? All right. <laughs> Ashley, where are you from? Washington. Do I sit there? No. Neither do I. <laughs> this is impossible. Okay. Ashley, you're awesome. That was a fantastic song. Is there a reason you chose that song, or did you just like it, and that's the one you sing best in the shower? <laughs> oh, you're not seeing a boy. Hey, well, props to that. Um, everybody, put your hands together for Ashley Kate. That was phenomenal. You're awesome, Ashley. I always love it. I always love it. What is this? This is trickery. I'm going to figure this out sometime today. All right. What do we got next, Matt? Did the house head video. House head. Now, okay, now year they were a little. Uh, yeah, it was a little sketchy. I didn't. I don't know. It scared me last year. Um, I had nightmares actually. One last night. Um, I might tell you about. But here we go. We're gonna show this video. Here we go. So the house heads are playing competition today, but sadly I can't make it. So I'm kind of worried because I'm usually the one that guides them. But I hope everything goes fine. Basically, she is explaining that we go to the third floor and grab some hoses and put them down the third floor, and whoever slides there down the fastest wins. I would break every bone in my body if we did that. I'm pretty sure surfing isn't like even a real sport. You're gonna say yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, that idea looks eh? I'm just super annoyed with everyone. They always reject every single idea. It's like, can you not? Especially Ms. Bush, she steals all my ideas and thinks that they're hers, but they're not. No, what we should do is put hoses down the second floor and then surf down them. Yeah, I really like that idea because then if we were to go down the second floor, it would be a much smaller distance. So we wouldn't have as much velocity, which would not stop. That idea is not going to work any better for you guys than it did the first time. I can't believe they compared my ideas to the stupid surfers. I mean, my idea was so much better. It could have worked perfectly fine if they would have just listened to me. How about you come up with something better? Okay, why don't we do a bank robbery competition? Each house likes three people and the one who makes the most money wins. <sighs> That's illegal, Alex. I don't feel that matters. It'd be fun. We can't leave school grounds. Yeah, you hoser. I can't believe I didn't like my ideas. My ideas are the best. They need to learn how to risk spectacularly. Okay, guys, I got it. I got it. I, I noticed the thing with what you guys were saying earlier. So, picture this. We play baseball on surfboards. Boom. Or not. Nah. You're right. What a dumb jock. Nobody appreciates my ideas. They think just because they've got brains that their ideas are better. <laughs> brains are overrated. You don't need brains when you got guns like these. Boom! Bang! Firepower! Okay, you're not allowed to talk anymore. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it, Mizba, you little nerd? Oh, you can't do anything. You're just a jock. A, a jock? Just, just, just a jock. That's it? That's all I am? Yeah, man. You're just a little hoser. Oh, shut up. I still think bank robberies are a good idea. You stay out of this. What you gonna do about it, Brandon? Look, fight me. I'm gonna fight you. I'm gonna fight you. Let's do this. Swing first. All right. Let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's go. Fight me out. Let's hey, go. Go. hey what? don't talk to me in there. I end up sitting down on the couch.
surfboard. Do you okay? Surfboard. Guys, we should just look something up on the internet. Alright. Yeah, um, surfboard. That was scary. Whoa, dude, we're up there. Look at the back of my head. Girl, the back of your head is ridiculous. Alright, that was lame. Next up, we have another singer. Um, now, Matt, you and I are going to get down on the singing game one day, but we'll let her go. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Taylor Canal. Without your smile, 
Thanks, Sam. We're going to harass you. Taylor, that was awesome. Um, Taylor, a couple questions for you. I can never get this height right. You know what? Forget it. Taylor, how old were you when you first started singing? Me neither. Um, <laughs> how old do you think you are? I don't know. I need an age. Let's see. Um, Matt, what are you doing? I do the mic thing. Like three? Three? Maybe. I don't know. You know what I was doing on that story? You know what I was doing? You don't know. Taylor, that was fantastic. Um, is there a person you'd like to dedicate that song to? Don't make me blush right here. He's not here, so. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I don't have curves of perfection. <laughs> um, I, I wish I did, but I wasn't born that way. Um, here we go. Uh, Taylor, that was fantastic. Um, yeah. Are you a junior, correct? So are you planning on doing this next year? I don't know. You don't know. Matt, I'm out. the mic guy, okay? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> That was awesome. One more time for Taylor, everybody. Now, now me and Matt said that we were going to try to get on the scene game, and uh, we weren't joking. So, <laughs> here goes nothing. Okay, can I just say something crazy? I love crazy. All my life has been a series of doors in my face. the same thing because like i've been searching my whole life to find my own place and maybe it's the party talking or the chocolate fondue <laughs> but with you but with you i found my place. i see your face and, and it's, it's nothing, nothing like i've, I've ever, ever known before love, love is an open door That's why we weren't going to do it in the first place. Our next act, Matt, who is it? Um, it's Mr. Hampton. What's he doing? No one really knows. Yeah, we don't know. Here we go. Seven bucks, Big Mac, medium fries, medium drink. Okay, wait, 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 wait. To give you an idea, when I was in high school, they had a commercial at McDonald's. Big Mac, medium fries, medium drink. You get change back from your dollar. You know how much it was? 89 cents and you get it, you get change. You could go to the movies for 75 cents. That was a long time ago, let me tell you. 
Okay, let's talk a little economics. I need a, an assistant. Oh, somebody here else do somebody front row. Oh, it's a baseball player. <laughs> Okay, I need this guy because I he need I need hand. This looks like a good hand. How many fingers do we have? Five. No, four. One, two, three, four, and a thumb. Oh. Oh. Okay, we're talking dollar bill here. I'm, how, how much is it worth? Like when I you know, fifteen cents for McDonald's hamburger, eighty nine cents for Big Mac meal when I was a kid. Now what is it worth? Hold on to that for a second. Check that dollar bill to make sure it's real. Okay, for this we're going to use a we're going to use this empty bag, and I'm going to show you exactly how much this dollar bill is worth. Okay, I promise that no time during this trick will any of these fingers leave his hand. Okay, here we go. Watch carefully. Count with me. We're counting to three. One, two, three. Okay, both hands out here. Here are, ladies and gentlemen, that's how much a dollar is worth today. <laughs> okay, so now we're talking, now we're talking your futures. We need to talk college here, okay? I'm gonna tell you what I did. So, I got out of high school, I'm like, okay, what am I gonna do with my future? I gotta do something good, I gotta do something good, something profitable. So I thought, well, there's, I was living close to Boston. There's Bobo's Clown School over there. You get in cheap. Over here we have Harvard Law School. And I'm thinking to myself, which one I want to do? Of course, this might give you a little hint of what I decided to do. But the idea was you had Bobo's Clown School. You had Harvard Law School. I'm thinking to myself, i got to pick one of those. It's got to be good. I don't know which one I'm going to pick. i got to pick one. But I'm thinking to myself, OK, what should I do in life? I know, I'm an honest person. I want to make an honest living. I don't want that kind of other kind of life. For all you out there listening, that's a lawyer joke. <laughs> so I went for the clown business, which was, see here, we have a little dog. Okay, now it's going to get more difficult. I'm going to make some things. You have to guess what it is. Get on the front row says balloon. That's a third grade answer. Third grade answer. Besides, <laughs> that's not a shape yet. We're waiting on that. Okay, now tell me what it looks like. Somebody said an oval. That's also a third grade joke. I mean, a third grade answer. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, here we go. What else? I'm going to give you some hints. I is wrong answer. I'm going to give you another hint. Football is also a wrong answer. Okay, here we go. Let's get serious. What do you think it is? Hola, como estas? Most people say lips. Not, in fact, 98% of the population says lips. Wrong answer. There's actually two of them, and you can eat them. What are they? Okay, you have two foot long hot dogs. What are you going to do with them when the neighbors come over? What are you going to do? What are you going to do? You twist them like this. You twist them like that. You have a six pack of hot dogs. Two, four, six. Okay, this. This job is actually very dangerous. Do not try this at home. I am a professional. This could explode at any second. Okay, so now you know what it is, right? The flower is the wrong answer. It's actually an octopus. Did you know that octopus can curl up like this when they go to sleep? That's a little known fact that I just made up. Okay, watch carefully. I'm going to make something else. You have to guess what it is. Okay, what do you think it is? It's a pickle. A pickle, no. Cactus, no. A sword, no. A cross, no. Okay, I'm gonna give you a hint. There's wings. Jalapeno, no. There's wings. No, not an airplane. Think smaller. Butterfly, think smaller, think small. A mosquito, yes, it's a giant mosquito.
Okay, watch carefully. I'm now going to do something that nobody's ever done before. I'm actually going to blow through the side of the balloon. Do not try that at home. I am a professional. <laughs> to warn you, if you ever get out in public and you, somebody makes you one of your girlfriend one of these flowers and you get one of these dogs, do not do this because you know what happens. Yes. All right, so the guys don't get left out. I need a, a volunteer. Here we go. Yes, we need the girls got a balloon. Now we got to make a balloon for the guys. By the way, people ask me, said, how do you blow up those balloons like that? Well, you have to have strong muscles here. So basically, I kiss like two, three hours a day. Okay, there we go. We call that the Pocahontas hat. Hold on, there's more. Do not try this at home. I am a professional. I call it the curly fry hat. The good news is it comes with Pandora already installed. <laughs> there you go. What is it? It is a sword. A sword. And you thought this was just a hat, but actually it's a sword holder. <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Is it? This is rented. Um, whoa, would you look at that? It's a magic trick. I know a little bit myself. Um, that was a funny joke. Here we go. This is rented. How long have you been doing a uh, professional business of balloon making and dumb jokes? <laughs> Sorry, my dumb. My jokes are dumb. Okay. Well over uh, probably 35 years. All right, all right, all right. So if. if if you've been doing it for 35 years and the price of the hamburger was like two cents when you were a kid, um, I was listening to this one. That makes you like 47? <laughs> hey, I'm trying to be nice. I'm trying to be nice. Okay. Uh, Matt, what is, what is that making? 29. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Henson, everybody, give a big round of applause. <laughs> now, Earlier, we watched a video, um, the very first video we watched. That was video number one of our video of the year contest. So we're about to watch video number two. Um, later on in this day, when you're in class, you're going to get a receipt, or a receipt, we're not paying for anything. Um, you're gonna get a slip for voting. So here is video number two, and it is called... That Boy by Dylan Thomas. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, welcome to another night. Some of you will get that joke. <laughs> that was dumb. All right, next up, we have Matt. You're going to sing and dance. No, a different Matt. I thought it was going to be Matt. No, dude, we got another Matt. He's going to sing and dance. No, dude, it's okay. <laughs> There's more than one, one Matt, okay? Wait, by the way. Sick, everybody's gonna sing a dance. Here we go. Maybe one of these times I'll need the mic up here. Inspire you to do this? Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought. That's what I thought. You're just missing a tie. Um, full tux, you know? It's a dumb joke. All right. Um, Matt, how long have you been uh, that? Since I was seven. Since you were seven. You know what I was doing when I was seven? You don't want to know. <laughs> Matt, um, did you have any inspiration? Is there a reason you chose when you wish on the pause? Yeah. I'm <laughs> um, Billy Porter. Oh, you like Billy, Billy Porter? Dude, same. I don't know who that is. Um, that's awesome, dude. So, uh, when you wish upon a star, 
Disney. Are you a big fan of Disney? Yeah. You are? Me too. That's not a lie. <laughs> okay. Matt, how old are you? I'm 16. 16. And do you, Matt, what do you, Matt? Okay, this is going to get really confusing for the next couple minutes. Hang on. Matt, I need you to, Matt, what? stop. Not you, Matt. Matt. What? What do you call a guy that with no arms, no legs, legs in front of you? Matt. <laughs> Send me. Woo! Right over the head. Okay. <laughs> Matt, when you, um, I don't have any other questions. I just want to say Matt a lot. Matt, everybody, big round of applause for Matt. Here we go. <laughs> not you, Matt. Not you. Not you. Hey, that and Matt. So our next act, Matt, what do we have for... This is still confusing. Matt, what do we have for our next act? Oh, wait. There's more. Hey, we said we were going to scratch that. No, no, no. no, I'm not going to do it. You she even told us not to. You have to play piano scratches. I'm not going to do it. You're going to do it right now. Go. Uh, <laughs> do it for the vine? Do it for the vine. All right, fine. Someone's vining this, I'll do it. Oh, sorry. Why do piano players do this? This is impossible. Do they, oh, they don't keep it mouth. All right. Being completely serious, this is actually a song I put together. Um, okay, you're gonna have to stay still, Matt. <laughs> Being completely serious, this is a song I put together. Um, I hope you guys like it. I've been working on it for like a day now. No, I'm just kidding. It's been like a month. Okay. So this is a song I put together. It's called The World of Fire. Hope you guys like it.
Are you trying to help me? Dude, calm down, bro. It was beautiful, but I mean... Alright, whatever. Now, <laughs> Nate. That was awesome. What song was that? Every time... Oh, there it goes. What was it again? River flows of me right about after lunch time. <laughs> so <laughs> that was a fun joke. <laughs> okay. Uh, how old were you when you started playing the piano? Wait, so that's like how old are you now? Hang on, can you I'm not good at math. Can you put those two numbers together? Two, two. Two, okay, good. You see you've been playing the piano for two years and you just did that? All right, yeah, I just want to make sure that I got through my head right. Yeah, yeah, you can applaud for that. That's impressive. Um, man, is there a reason you chose that song, or do you just like kind of the way it flows and everything? I just like the way it sounds. Yeah. I see, you like the way it sounds. Kind of like, yeah. Um, that's cool, man. Um, so, do you know what 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 note that was played in? Like A, E minor, F sharp. It's okay if you don't, because I don't know. <laughs> All right, dude. Hey, everybody give a big round of applause for Nate. That was impressive. Honestly, that was super awesome. Now, next up, I don't think this one is for video of the year, right? Correct? No. This is, we are going to watch a video, but it is not for the video of the year. This is called The Transfer. Um, last year. Movie trailer. Yeah, last year, we, we did one of these, right? Yep. Yep, okay. Fresh meat. <laughs> fresh meat, yeah. You were the fresh meat. Anyways. Uh, he's not even a fresh meat. This is like a freaking weird thing. Alright, here we go, movie trailer! I just moved here a couple weeks ago and I didn't realize an orientation was. I'm Rebecca Collins, but you can call me Becky. Sophia Stone, you've managed to survive your first date at North Seattle High. I don't know if survive is the right way to put it. Um, is this Steve taken? You must be new here. Oh my gosh, that's Logan Orion. He's like student body president and one of North Seattle High's best athletes. Apparently he witnessed something that happened between Jessica and Caleb, but she didn't want him to tell anybody because she was moving anyways. Hey, Red. Red? Oh, you always wear that red jacket. I figured the name would fit you. You're not even here for a month and Logan Orion is already asking you out on a date? What are you doing that I'm not doing? Jessica transferred. She's not coming back. I'm sure you've heard the rumors. We don't listen to rumors, Hemming. This school will be nothing without me. I know you hate me right now, but I was wrong. I was so wrong. I need you to come get me right now. That must be a Hallmark movie or something. It was emotional. It had me tearing up. No, dude. You know, I watched the movie the other day. I don't think it was by Hallmark. It was good, though. Did you hear about it? Yeah, can I tell you? I need to this. Alright, check this out. Biggest plot twist I've ever seen in my whole life. Do it for you, because I need to do it. Do it, do it. Just heard a fly fart. Okay. Um, so quiet. So I was watching this movie, and uh, this is how it started. It was, it actually shocks me how it started. It was like really bold. But, so this guy is chilling at home with his wife and his kids, and the serial killer comes and attacks them, and leaves, kills the wife, and leaves the kids, kills all the kids except for one. And like broke his leg, and yeah, I know. No, it's bad. You can, oh yeah, no. And so, um, so then, so then they're trying to live life, and then the same son with the broken leg, he's just he uh, he got he got abducted. He got abducted. Yeah, got kidnapped. And so the dad's like, I gotta go get my son. So he chases his son all the way around the world, um, all like thousand thousand miles around the world, all with the help of like this woman that was like mentally challenged. Like it was terrible. It was a horrible movie. Yeah, it was kind of legal. Um, but <laughs> some of you are gonna think about that and be like, "That was, that was clever." <laughs> All right. Um, I did not see that coming. Next up, we have a super group. Um, not the hip hop super super group. This is more like uh, R.I.P. Yeah, R.I.P. For real. Um, <laughs> let's just take a moment of silence. All right, now it's over. Um, this is a. Uh, I'm excited for this mainly because I watch a lot of Beyonce. So here we go. CC and the Monsters. Uh, CC and the Monsters.
know that we are young and I know that you may love me, but I just can't be with you like this anymore. Alejandro.
man. I don't know. I didn't even see that coming, bro. The way that we had the shimmy going and the face-to-face -face with some space, that was that was incredible. You know, you guys, that was that was no for real, that was spicy. Something. You heated up when the boys came in. Wow. The, um, you guys had tight harmonies. Uh, it was a great. I just saw that on a TV show. I want to say. Um, man, what inspired you to do this? Actually, you know, what? different question. What were the emotions you felt as you were going through this? Besides the spiciness. I just, I just, I felt a lot of raw emotion. It was very emotional for me putting this together. I mean, Alejandro, um, we've had our ups and downs, and for him to just like walk in like this, it really messed with my emotions. It got me fired up. And that's um, that's probably one of the most inspirational things I've heard on the show. Um, no, really, um, in all honesty, the fact that Alejandro, the, the you came up and did that, and it just, man, it's so sweet. Um, can we just give another round of applause? That was so awesome. That was so awesome. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. That was legit. Um, check this out. Here's what we're going to do. Here's the shizzle, mun, bizzle, whizzle, kizzle, whatever. We are going to... Um, I gotta go to the bathroom. That's mainly why we're doing this. Um, we are gonna go uh, to third period. You're gonna check in with your third period. So check in with your third period teachers. You have 10 minutes. Get there, get back, sit down, and we're gonna continue the show. We got more, and it's only gonna get better. Um, next up, the first act after intermission is gonna be awesome. So to get back here, hey, hey, hey. Hello, Lori. God decides to talk through, um, 
If the people decide to walk with them, regardless of pitchfork, cosigns, I'll jump. Make sure the sound man doesn't block, block the drums. Let the snare knock the air right out of your lungs. And those words be the oxygen. Just breathe, amen. Regardless, I'ma say it. Felt like I got signed the day that I got an agent. Got an iTunes check, check, man, I'm paying rent. About damn time that I got it in my basement. About damn time I got around the country and I hit these stages. I was made to slay them. 10,000 hours, I'm so damn close, I can taste it. On some Malcolm Gladwell, David Bowie meets Kanye. This is dedication. A life lived for art has never been life wasted. 10,000. This is my arena, the TV told me something different, I didn't believe it I stand here in front of you today, all because of an idea I could be who I wanted if I could see my potential And I know that one day I'ma be him Put the gloves on, sparring with my ego Everyone's greatest obstacle, I beat him Celebrate that achievement, got some attachments and baggage I'm actually working on leaving C I observed Escher, I love Basquiat I watch Keith Harry, you see I study art The greats weren't great because at birth they could paint the greats were great because they paint a lot I will not be a statistic, just let me be No child left behind, that's the American scheme I make my living off of words and do what I love for work And got around 980 on my SATs Take that system, what you expect? Generation of kids choosing love over a desk You put those hours in and look at what you get Nothing that you can hold but everything that it is 10,000 Same struggle, slow motion as time slips through my knuckles Nothing beautiful about it, no light at the tunnel But the people that put their passion before them being comfortable Raw, unmedicated heart, no substitute Banging on tabletops, no substitute I'm feeling better than ever, man, what is up with you? Scraping my knuckles and battling with some drug abuse I lost another friend, got another call from a sister And I speak for the people that share that struggle too Like they got something bruised My only rehabilitation was a Sweat, tears, and blood went up in the booth. It's the part of the show where it all fades away. When the lights go to black and the band leaves the stage. And you wanted an encore, but there's no encore today. Cause the moment is now, can't get it back from the grave. Part of the show, it all fades away. Lights go to black. Band leaves the stage We wanted an encore But there's no encore today Cause the moment is now Can't get it back from the grave Welcome to the heist I've got the world on a string I'm sitting on a rainbow Got that string around my finger Oh, what a world, oh, what a life I'm in love I got a song that I sing And I can make the rainbow Anytime I move my finger Lucky me can you see, I am in love Life's a wonderful thing As long as I've got that string I'd be a silly so and so If I should ever let you go I've got the world 
gold on a string I'm sitting on a rainbow I got that string around my finger Oh, what a world and what a life I'm in love Life is a wonderful thing As long as I hold the string I'd be a crazy so and so If I should ever let her go I've got the world on a string I'm sitting on a rainbow I got that string around my finger Oh, what a world, what a life Oh, what a world, what a life Oh, what a world, what a life Cause I'm in love mm, I'm in love And what a wonderful thing When you get the world on a string If you can hear me, don't. Are you serious? Right now, seven. Whatever. All right. Don't scare the freshman, man. Here we go. When we were in the, when we were on break, we uh, we decided we wanted to do something real quick. Um, we want to take a selfie, so just let me take a selfie. Yeah. If you can just get in this and just yeah. Oh, it's facing the wrong way. Hang on, I'm bad at this. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna take like. Ten. Hashtag selfie! Alright, alright. I got enough. I'm probably going to delete them later anyways. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just going to... Yeah, whatever. Alright, so while we were on break, me and Matt were um, looking at some Twitter. Yeah, we were looking at some Twitter. I was in the bathroom tweeting with my twatter and with a, whatever. It was in the bathroom. I got, I got my tweeter out and I was twatting in my... Yeah, whatever. So we were tweeting, checking up on you guys' hashtags, seeing what you guys are doing, um, getting down on the low down, keeping on the up and up, whatever other terms you can whatever think you of. Call it. So we um, we went through and decided these are some tweets we would send. Um, if, our if our parents didn't follow us. Yeah. Yeah, our parents follow us. Mom, dad, they're out there. Your mom, dad, are out there. You can, uh, I put some earplugs in your purse. You can put those in right now. Uh no, for real. We're going to do this. Uh, we wouldn't send these if our parents didn't follow us on Twitter. Do you want to go first? Yeah, sure. I really don't want this. First one, um, I think the beginning of an eating contest is really just the beginning of a pooping contest. It's going to be like that. All right. My mom can make... No, put those in. I'm for real. Okay. My mom can make orange juice from concentrate. I can never achieve that level of focus. If I ever own the copy store, I'm going to hire identical twins. Da -da okay. Just, uh, I wonder what's the first thought that goes through a Dalmatian's head when he sees a cow. Like, holy crap. What happened to that guy? Did I eat the wrong tree? Okay. I wonder, but I, but I also wonder what the first thought that goes through a cow's head when he sees a Dalmatian. Like, I need to get on a diet. My nipples are on the ground. <laughs> that was bad. Whenever I want to be alone, I go to the mall and hold a clipboard. That was you? I saw you. I just walked the other way. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I think vests are all about protection. The bulletproof vest protects you from getting shot. The life vest keeps you from drowning. And the sweater vest protects you from pretty girls. Sorry, Jake. It was two years Let ago, it go. okay? Let it go. 
can't put them out. They say cats always land on their feet. I say when you throw them from great enough heights, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Oof! We got some kitty lovers in here somewhere. That's some hate mail waiting to happen. He who lives by the sword dies by the sword. He who lives by the river dies by the sword too. Wherever you live, it, the sword's going to kill you. It doesn't matter. All right. How's it going? Old MacDonald was dyslexic. O-I-E-I-E. -I -E. Okay, that's... <laughs> That's terrible. Oh, I, 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 like, can you imagine if a parent like Who taught their kids, their kids that? Oh, my God, I've had a time. Oh, I, 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 I. You're singing it wrong, man. Set up the toast talk. Reaching into a pair of pants and finding money is a great feeling. So the person wearing the pants screams at you. My bad, bro. Last summer, I. You don't have to tell it if you Last want Last summer, I uh, found the difference between peeing in the pool and peeing into the pool. And that's why you're not invited to my parties. Sorry, bro. Sick, dude. They turn the water blue. Whatever. Okay. Last but not least, if you ever want to sound like a creep, just finish any sentence with the word, ladies. Help, I'm dying! Ladies. Do these, does this shirt look good? And you gotta do this face. Ladies. I need more toilet paper. Ladies. All right, we should probably do like maybe part of the show now. Um, what do we got next, dude? Crap, dude. I don't actually want to announce this. I'm really nervous. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the one, the only, the super group, the Rain Boys. <laughs> You're insecure, don't know what for You're turning heads when you walk through the door Don't need makeup to cover up Being the way that you are is enough Everyone else in the room can see it Everyone else but you oh. Baby, you light up my world like nobody else The way that you flip your hair gets me over
You know, oh, that got a little crazy. Um, man, wow, that was insane. Now, what what inspired what inspired um, your group and your passion to um, make twelve year olds girls hard strap? Well, obviously we, we do it for the ladies, but uh, no, uh, you know I think one day we just decided, hey, let's let's start a band. Start a band. Was it like a garage? You started in the garage and just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we, we had to we had to rent out a really uh, a really crappy place, but yeah, the warehouse. But uh, it got it done. It got it done. I don't want to know about the warehouse. <laughs> what about what about you, man? How old um how how uh, how long you been a part of this group? Uh, I've been a part of the group since. Wait a second, you're British. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. Let me ask that again. It's like way better. How long have you been a part of the group? Since the very beginning, uh, when Tynan first got the idea uh, for the band, he came to me and he said, "All right, let's find a third member." And so we got we got Rog here, and uh, then we started the group. Uh, are you currently working on any record labels? Uh, yes, we are just coming out with our new album. Uh, it actually drops today. Um, we've been working with Mike, uh, our dance, our partner. So. Nice, nice. And um, one more question here. I'll ask this one for you, Raj. Um, uh, how um, how does it feel for you guys to be uh, One Direction's understudy? Well, I mean, I think we're better than them. I mean, you guys saw the fans' reaction, so, I mean... Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for the Rain Boys. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, good to see you. Did you have something you want to say? Why do you Why do you never let me talk? What are you talking about? You never let me talk. What do you even? Did you have something you want to say? Not. I mean, not right now. <laughs> well, I'll let you talk, man. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, man. I love you, bro. That's why I picked you. All right, here we go. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to hear? You You announce it. Who do we have next? I'm sorry. I'll stop. Shh. We have we have, we have Alyssa Ortiz. We have Alyssa Ortiz. She's singing.
about you You're lucky if your memory remains Therapy I'm a walking child today But I'm smiling at everything Therapy You were never a friend to me And you can keep all your That was rad. Beautiful. I'll get it. Hang on. All right. Come over here. Come over here. I'm nice. I don't bite. Come on. That's fine. Ladies. All right. Come over here. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> um, so, Alyssa, that was actually super impressive. Um, no, it was, for real. Um, the fact, it, it wasn't just like a normal singing. It wasn't like shouting out here and, and uh, no offense to the other acts. Like, you guys do great, too. Uh, but it was... Um, it was, since you were quiet, it was so much more emotional, right? And um, I'm being serious, and I know it's weird for you guys to handle. Um, but um, Alyssa, when did you start singing? I'm guessing when I came out of the womb. I don't know. Sorry, I didn't, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. When you, you know what I was doing when I was coming out of the womb? You know, you know. I wasn't singing, that was for sure. I started singing in the shower. I don't sing in the shower. I perform. Baby, come back! All right. Um, Alyssa, how old are you? What grade are you in? I'm 15. I'm not 15, and I know that. Okay. All right. You're 15, and that makes you a freshman, correct? Correct. Okay. Do you plan to, like, keep singing for, for, for the rest of your life? Or at least, like, until you're old? Until you're 100. Yeah, that's a good goal, you know? That's a good goal. That's good. That's a good goal. I want to sing till I'm a hundred. I can't sing for scratch, but I want to sing till I'm a hundred. Well, listen, that was fantastic. We were so glad you actually got to perform, and oh man, it was just so good. Um, everybody, big round of applause for Alyssa one more time. Have a seat. Now, oh, Alyssa, you said you're a freshman, so you got like three more years left. That sucks. That's a good voice. Okay, you can sit down now. Just want to say that. My my mom said that. Said what? That's the worst. What do you mean? Well, you see, we were going to the mall, and uh, my mom Go ahead. was driving, and my sister was right next to me. Okay. And uh, we get to the mall, and she goes, okay, honey, you can get out. And my sister goes, but mom, my friends aren't here yet. I have to wait like 10 minutes. And then my, <laughs> my mom goes, I know, honey, that's the worst. Yeah, you heard that. Okay. That that's the worst. Yeah, kids in Africa haven't eaten for a week, and that's the worst. No, no, no. I know what you're saying because like, you remember those Chilean miners that got stuck in that mine? Oh, yeah. yeah, they were in there for like 30 days. Pretty sure the lead guy wasn't like. This is bad. This is not good at all. We have been here for like 30 days or something. We have no food. We have a little water and no very little oxygen left. We could not we could not see to another day. This is the worst. I can only think of one thing right now. I can only think of one thing right now. Listen to me, my friend, this is serious. I can only think of one thing right now that could be worse than this. You know, sometime when you're at the mall. And your mom drops you off. But your friends aren't there to go shopping with you, so you have to sit on the curb for like 10 minutes or something. 
I shouldn't even complain. I feel like a baby compared to that. I shouldn't even complain. But this is bad right now. Dude, don't get me wrong. This is bad. But that, the mod thing, that, that is yours. I'm pretty sure that was not a conversation that went down. Okay, I'm going to stop talking. Here's another video. Video three. This is called Things Guys and Girls Don't Say. By and Max Larson. By Max Larson. Here you go. Things guys, girls, and people pretty much never say. Jar Jar Binks is so great. I don't need a manicure. I feel so manly in these skinny jeans. Man, internet explores so fast. <sighs> so here's why I'm mad at you. Yeah, I have enough shoes. I need a makeover. Ugh, I hate babies. Man, I love doing chores so much, I wish I had more. I wish I had more homework. You know, we should totally wear matching outfits tomorrow. Bro! Yeah! Uh! Bro? You know what? You're right. Ew. I hate puppies. This movie, The Last Airbender, this is the greatest movie ever. I have too much money. I love Claire's. What are you talking about? Uh, Girls look terrible in yoga pants. Uh, I am so skinny! I love Windows 8. It's so easy to use. Your breath smells fantastic. I'm gonna keep the toilet seat open. Got it. I need help. Hand me the instructions! OMG! Hey, can you please throw that bacon away? We have no more need for it. I'm so weak. I love manicures! No, I think I'm pretty good on clothes. Oh my gosh, guys. Vampire Diaries is on. <gasps> yeah! It's a new episode! Yeah! Gosh, yeah! The way I look. Jack, I know I've only known you for a week and a half, but I think I'm in love with you, so I have to do this now. Will you marry me? Who are you? What are you doing with my girlfriend? I think we're lost. Maybe we should ask for directions. Matching outfits. <laughs> Bro, you want to wear matching outfits? Crap. Didn't know they were going to play that. Okay. This next act is uh, something we haven't had on the show. Um, uh, I'm super excited for it. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for my sister, Miranda Fossey. Here we go. Oh. 
small world is as it should be. Wow. Yeah, feel free. Just catch your breath. Hang on. That was awesome. You know, I tried to do that earlier, and uh, I pulled a muscle. So uh, I'm going to need surgery. Anyways, uh, that was incredible. What age, should I just wait for the questions? OK. What, uh, what age did you start dancing? Three or four, I think. Three or four. You know what I know I was doing three and four? You don't want to know. OK. What, um, here's a question. When, when I sing in the shower, does it inspire you to dance more? She shouldn't answer that. Okay. Yeah, you shouldn't answer that. Um, man, what what grade are you in? Eighth grade. I knew that. I know all these answers. So I'm just gonna ask them. Um, do you plan to like go to college and stuff for dancing? Uh, I think so. I think so. You're a ninth grader, so you don't have to worry about it. All right. I'll see you at home. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my sister. Right now, check this out. Matt, we knew she was going to do that, and so I want to show you guys that she's not the only person in our family that can dance, so here we go, we're going to try this. Feel free to chime in. Give me your, give me your, give me your attention, baby. I gotta tell you a little something about yourself. You're one of our ballers, ooh, you a sexy lady. But you walk around here like you want to be someone. Actually, Elizabeth Price. Elizabeth Price is gonna come up here Great and she's going to sing. I watched this last night. I'm so psyched. Here we go.
I want to stay, but I'm a senior, so uh, I'm going to leave. Oh, man. Um, that was incredible. When you hit that high note, holy smokes, girl. <sighs> Woo! Still get chills. Still get chills. Elizabeth, how old are you? What grade are you in? I'm 15, and I'm a freshman. Just pick one. Just pick one. Okay. You're 15, and you're a freshman. That was incredible. When did you start singing? Four or five? You don't know. All right. <laughs> Let me stop doing that. Okay. Um, Elizabeth, do you do you plan to like pursue singing, or or do you have other other plans? Matt, seriously? Whatever. Um, I I don't know. Maybe. 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 Well, you're a great singer, and as a freshman, that's incredible that you can come out and dress out those high notes. Um, that was just incredible. So everybody, a big round of applause for Elizabeth. That was incredible. Yeah. Next up. It's like the Chapin laugh. <laughs> Sorry, man, I had to. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next up, we have a our last and final video. This is called Mo Money. Mo, chicka chicka, Mo Money. By Austin Ha. Austin Ha.
Ready? Keep going. Somebody! No! What I do, I do. You don't get them girls loose, loose. You don't get the world loose, loose. You don't get money, loose, loose. But I do, I do. I say y'all having a good time out there. They can't, they won't, they never will Stop the party dancing over here, a little bit of dancing right here, and Miss Clancy getting it down right back there, so that was awesome. Yeah! yeah. That's what I've been waiting for the whole show. Alright, what's next? Oh, I'm so excited. What is it? It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Alright, next up, we have our musical guest. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't even say it. Okay, here we go. Thorane! 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 I'll say it right. Sorry, Thorane. I heard that woo.
mic stand. Why haven't I done this the whole show? Here we go. <sighs> Ladies, that was super awesome. Not going to lie. Um, how long, oh, first of all, how old are you guys? What grade are you in? I'm 15 and I'm a sophomore. And I'm 15 and I'm also a sophomore. Good job, Megan. Oh, that's awesome. So you guys are both sophomores. Now, <laughs> that medley was like 400 different songs. I didn't count. I was probably like eight. How many was it? You don't know either. Okay. So that was a, but it was a huge medley. How long did it take you to figure out the different chords to play and how to put that medley together? Um, actually, I just, uh, Teresa already had it, but I went over to her house and we're like, oh, let's do a duet. So, so Teresa, how long did it take you to put that medley together? Uh, two, two, three hours. <laughs> now, did you know how to play those songs already or did you have to learn them? Goodness gracious. How long have you been playing the guitar? Since you were nine. You know what I was doing when I was nine? You don't want to know. Um, what about you? How long have you been singing? Um, I've been singing since I was like four, I think. Four. You don't want to know what I was doing before either. Okay. Um, ladies, that was awesome. Uh, do you plan, either one of you, to, to continue a singing career? Um, I wish, but I don't think so. I think you could. All right. Well, ladies, that was awesome. Give one more round of applause for Torre. That was super awesome. I loved that. I'm a sucker for a good medley. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, last but certainly not least, I wanted to say that. I saw it on the show. Hang on. Do you want to use this one? Yep. Yeah. Eh. I saw that on the show, too. Um, ladies and gentlemen, certainly not last. Certainly last. Here we go. David Hatley, everybody. Son, 
you try All that I want for you, my son Is to be satisfied And be a simple Drop your microphone cord in front of the whole school. At the Steelers. <sighs> David, dude, that was sick. No lie. How old are you, man? 16. 16. And what grade is that in? Junior. I can't think. Sorry. Um, I'm not me when I'm not hungry. Uh, <laughs> uh, why did you choose that song? Sorry, can you say that again? Because I like it. Because you like it. So, it's just one of those, that's the one you sound best best with, like you like singing that song. Yes. Yeah, that's how I feel in the shower when I'm singing Baby Got Back. Uh, <laughs> dude, that's sweet. Um, how long have you been playing the guitar? Since I was four. Since you were four. We're not going to go there. Yeah, you all knew. You, you saw it coming um, since you were four. And how long have you been singing? Same time. About, yeah, about, I don't know. Since you, okay, right. Dude, that's so sweet. And is there, you chose this song because you like it. Okay, I don't know what to ask right now. Um, dude, we want to do something for you uh, real quick, Matt. Uh, can we get the Rain Boys up here? Yeah. Here's the deal, yo. Here's the deal. <sighs> All right. You guys have gotten a lot of stage time. Okay, here we go. This is what we're going to do. A few boys can stand over here. Rain Boys. Yeah, boys, not men. Okay. Um, yeah. Little boys. We, they decided, uh, Matt, why don't you just, what are we doing? Um, well, you, one of you is going to say something to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> they want to make you an honorary rain boy for the next concert. So this is what we're going to do. Matt, if you would come over here. Oh, 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 yeah, shake the hand. Hang on, we're going to do this. Um, I'll hold your guitar if you can take that off. Matt, will you do the honors? We're going to dub him in. Uh, take a knee. Take a knee. No, take a knee. Take a knee. Thank you. So, uh, David, we're offering you to be an official rain boy for the 2014 to 2015 ISC Talent Show. What do you say? Sure. Sure. He's in. Sure. He's in. Sure. Matt, Matt, say I'm Matt. Now we will knight him into the rain, boys.
That's it, it's official! It's official! Rain Boys! Here you go. Yo, we got it. Oh, we got here it. we go. Can't believe that just happened. That's fun. history. That's history right there. It's hurting my arm, man. Thanks. Hey, dude, you're a stud. Everybody, one more round of applause for David. That was so impressive. So. Excuse me, sorry, I had to burp. Okay, ladies, for real, we're you're, up here, not back done. there. You're done. Goodness. Whole show. All right. We've kind of, uh, we've come to the end of the show, but hang on, we want to do something real quick. Now, here's the dealio. Sorry, I had to burp. Our parents came, and, uh, oh, man, I can't believe we've done this. Uh, mom, mom, you're saying your mom. My mom. Mom. We're going to, we're going to bag on you for a little bit. Uh, so, here's the deal. When I was growing up, I still love you. Thanks for dinner. Uh, feed me tonight and keep the roof over my head. When I was growing up, my parents would say, uh, well, my mom, she'd say things that didn't make any sense, and I'm sure you all know this. So, like, example, I'd come home, I'd be a little kid, playing in the sandbox, eating it, and um, she'd be like, you get inside! That's how she sounds. You get inside! Just kidding, I love you. <laughs> you get inside, and you clean this room! I want you to clean every nook and cranny of this room! <laughs> What's a nook? Where's my, where's my cranny at? <laughs> Is my nook dirtier than my cranny, Mom? Oh, you crazy lady. Uh, your, your nook's fine, but your cranny's filthy. Clean it up. Or or to this day, all she cares about, I'll come home from a friend's house right around dinner time. She's like, have you eaten? Have you eaten? That's all, have, how many people have gotten that from their mom? Have you eaten? Have you eaten? That's all I just care about. How about eating? Yes, Mom. Do I look like I need to eat? Yeah, I, I, I know I look like I need 135 pounds. I need to eat. I'm sorry. But, same yeah, so same eat. thing with my mom. So I was coming home one night. It was Monday. It was Monday. It was dark. It was dark. It's past my curfew. Probably eight o'clock. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, that that doesn't matter. Whatever. So it's Monday. I was coming home. It's Monday. It's Monday. It's Monday. And uh, I get up to the screen door. Grab the door. <laughs> so why do they put stupid screen doors that loud? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. That's Whatever. what I'm okay, saying. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. So, with careful foot placement, wedge my foot in the screen door so it can't move. Smart. Smart. Fair enough. I'm at the ready with my keys to open the door. This Come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's go. Well, just, just hold the suspense. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Your whole life. I'll now, move to this. Quickly. Go. That's not quickly. Go in. Now, oh my gosh. I enter like SEAL Team Six. <laughs> my, I'm doing a little, doing a little hand dance on the wall, oh. looking for the light switch. I'm, I'm, I'm expecting this nice warm light, but all I, all, all I get is a. <laughs> what is that? It's the garbage disposal. They put those freaking switches right next to each other. And my mom, my mom, she comes out of nowhere like a panther. Where have you been? What? What are you doing? You could have got hurt. You could have got hurt. Where have you been? I was worried sick. Worried. I was worried seriously. I was worried. It's worried. It's what you do to me. Make me worried. Sick. Have you eaten? Have you eaten? Have you eaten? Goodness gracious. You look terrible. <laughs> but shout out to our moms. They're awesome. Everything where I am. Shout out to our moms. Oh, yeah. We want to do this real quick. As a tradition, as a tradition um, in the last uh, early talent shows when we were just little baby freshmen, um, we did these things called uh, ISC shout outs. And uh, we want to do about 10 or 12 of them real quick. So if you have something, a shout out. Now, this isn't be like, yeah, my best friend's awesome, so shout out to you, man. 
I don't know. If uh, I want to, I want to get shout outs for um, teachers, people. Hey, shout out to the guy that stayed after and helped me in study hall. Um, that was a big help. It helped me get through good grades. So if anybody has a shout out, if they want to just line up over here by Mr. Chapin, um, I'll start it off. Um, I don't have 12 of them, so if you really have a shout out, please line up. Um, go ahead, Lewis. You got one. Come here. Anybody else? How about yeah, stand up, Braden. Yep, there you go. Okay, here we go. Shout out, shout out Jake Sirianni for being incredible at what he does. Thanks, Lewis. He's getting, he's really making the ISC great, and oh, I think he's uh, he's he's just doing really good for the ISC. I'm I'm glad to see it. Thank you. two shout outs. I have a shout out for Mr. Chapin for being the best teacher in the world and like helping me with this talent show. And I have another shout out for the Rain Boys because they're so hot and I married all of them. Okay. Thank you for the shout outs, but we're going to keep those kind of shout outs to a minimum. Go ahead. You, yeah, you can uh, use that one. I wanted to give a shout out to my mom. She's not here my mom right is. now. She's um, at work. Okay. And, uh, just really love her. Okay. Now, again, I'm going to remind you if these shout outs. Hang on. I'm looking for productive shout outs. So, that help the world, help better our school, and help better Grace Gilvagetchel. Is that what you're about to do? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, hello. Uh, I have a shout out for Mrs. Jenks because she truly and honestly cares about her students. And every, every Friday, she gives us a little speech on how she really cares about us, and she wants us to be safe over the weekend. And I've never had a teacher care that much, and I really do love her. Thank you very much, Miss Shanks. Thank Ms. you. Miss Shanks. Oh, oh, there she is. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. That is a prime example. I'd like to give uh, Raiden a shout out for helping me film my thing. So, and he's always there to support me for whatever I throw at him. Even love you too. Um, and also shout out to Mr. Christopher for getting me into film and helping me with like and help me really find stuff I love. And also taking me to Nifty last year. So that was really awesome. So sweet dough. Hey, we're gonna do like we're gonna do. My phone's ringing. Who in the world? Dude, just what do you want? Tynan? Where'd he go? He's calling me. Whatever. Okay, go ahead. Um, I'd just like to give a shout out to Mr. Lefstad for believing in his students with his whole heart, even when they don't believe in themselves. So, thank you. Mr. Lefstad, shout out. Real quick, I'm going to interview and do a shout out. I want to give a shout out to the um, the team that put the talent show together. Um, that is Aon, Jake Sirianni, Mr. Chapin. Uh, dude, so many more. Um, my sound man back here. Dude, you guys rocked it. You guys, we, me and Matt Change just stand up here and make ourselves look dumb. And and Stickles and Matt, or Stickles, yeah, and Matt, and Michael. Love you, Michael. You're my boyfriend. Just kidding. No, bromance. They're new stands. Um, oh, I'd like to give a shout out to Mrs. Kreger for encouraging my love of writing and writing for pub. It's the reason I came to this school, and I'm so glad I did. Thank you. Love you. Let's keep them rolling. I want to give a shout out to Cece for being able to choreograph a dance in three days and teach it to a whole bunch of people in less than a week. That was amazing. I take skill. Here we go, Cece. I would just like to um, make a shout out to Sidewalks for keeping me off the streets, literally. <laughs> just kidding. Um, but really, I would really like to take a... <laughs> I can't believe you just said that. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'd also really like to um, make a shout out to all of the leaders in ISC and the ones that have a title and the ones that don't have a title that are fighting to really keep the spirit alive and to keep ISC as amazing as it's always been. So I just really want to give a shout out to them because you guys are really important to the school and the spirit of the school and the nature of the school. And I hope the school stays the same way for a really long time. Woo! 
We're going to do three more. Three more. So I would like to make a shout out to my dance partner, Chris Alexander. Woo! He was the, my only and best dance partner, and he also promised to take me shoe shopping. So thank you. There you go. Okay. We're actually going to finish off the line. Go ahead. Yeah, you can come up here. We're going to finish the line, but no one else get in line. Just sit back down. Um, I would like to give a shout out to Mr. Jackson for coming in and teaching choir second semester, and he just stepped up and did that. Yeah. Woo! Uh-oh, there she is. We were jumping around earlier. Here we go. Go ahead. Okay, I'm really tall right now. I want to give a shout-out to my family, and I want to give a shout-out to Lauren and especially Riley for being so supportive of everything I've been going through. And I definitely want to give a shout-out to Mrs. Love's dad for being there for me when I needed someone. And that's it. Woo! There we go. Quick, 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 quick. I want to give a, sh a shout out to Cece because I've never been able to say this to you, but I think you're a really awesome role model and you inspire me every day. And I just love hearing about your stories and I love hearing you sing um, in NAV. So thank you so much. Ooh. How about this? I'm going to make a short one and a tall one. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Rylan. That's Is that too short? It's really nice. Yep. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to Kona Ferry because uh, we've been friends forever and you've stick you've stuck with me, sorry, through all my perfect imperfections for ages and I really love you. Thank you so much for always being there for me. Real quick, I want to give a shout out. I might steal somebody's. I want to give a shout out to our house heads. Um, they do so much work to keep the house system in order and making assemblies go good and uh, and just making, you know, they're awesome. House heads, here we go. to Aeon Kofed, because without her, seriously, stand up, stand up. Without her, all of this wouldn't have happened. She put in a lot of work into this. And all of the committee that helped put together the talent show, all of you guys are awesome. Um, Isaiah Cash, I know he was a part of it. Um, Michael Cameron, I know you were part of it. All of you guys that helped out with it, uh, thank you so much, because this was, it was really a blast. So, give them all a round of applause. <laughs> and of course, a shout out to the Raindrops. Uh. I thought you were British. What happened to that? Oh. <laughs> Little Ricky Gervais of so This is the part where I leave. That was a good singing. That was good. That's good. That'll be on record. Hey, uh, I'd like to give a shout out to uh, everybody who stands for school for helping me do for this video that we all showed. That was really, really great. I love the, all the teachers. I love being a 40 year old Mexican woman. That was fun too. Um, I loved you that way too. Uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Muscles Cash Money Ripley in the back. <laughs> Muscles Cash Money Ripley, you really helped me through like hard times and like uh, I don't know. There's a point where I was like I didn't want to do any work, I didn't want to do anything, and like you just kind of like stayed there and talked to me, and I realized uh, I could do better. So I'd like to thank you. I also like to thank Katie because she looks so good. Ooh. There we go. because she is one of the most positive people I've ever met. She always uh, lifts your like attitude. She wants to make you feel better, and she is just a super great person. Um, and another person I'd like to give a shout-out to is Kaylee Johnson, because she is one of the strongest people I've ever met in my life. Um, I don't know. She's a big part of my life, and I wouldn't be pretty much like – I wouldn't have really passed this year or like – be the person I am this year without her. She pushed me to do better. So, love you. I want to give a shout out to Grand Boys' Caps. That's all. Caps of Steel. Sorry. Check, check. Is this thing on? Three more. Is it on? Yeah, it's on. Okay. Go ahead. Hello. Go ahead. Ladies. <laughs> um, Ladies. I would like to give a shout out to all my friends, family, educators that really uh, formed me into the person I am right now. Uh, without you guys, I don't know where I would be. I'm a senior here at Marysville Getchell, and I'm proud to be in the ISC. Um, everyone in here really made me into the person I'm supposed to be. So, hashtag Swagfest. Hashtag we can't stop. 
Trace Moss. Thanks, Senora. Okay, um, I'd like to give a shout out to Miss Kreger. Um, she's the bomb diggity. <laughs> um, seriously, she has, uh, she hasn't just taught me and my family, but um, also my older brother, Sam, and my older, older sister, Christine. And like, she's just influenced my family like crazy, and she's just an amazing person. And you can tell that she really cares about education, not just getting good test scores. to Connor Stickles for always helping me with my Latin because Stickles really and also Lita for helping me with chemistry all the time there we go <laughs> last one. Oh, two more two more okay can I explain this no I'm just kidding I'm kidding go ahead you're right this is hard yeah it is trust me uh, shout out to Mr. Left Side which I can't find for the life of me there he is I see his hand. Um, you know, I'm a freshman, and it, before high school, it was all just kind of slacking and knowing I can get away with it. But then Mr. Lestat came along, and he's just kind of whipped me into being a responsible person. And secondarily, secondly, I'd like to shout out to the Rain Boys. <laughs> <laughs> they, ins they inspire me. <laughs> they inspire everybody, my friend. All right, here we go. Uh, shout out to Mr. Lefstad for um, teaching or perhaps helping me remember um, the truth and love and values in this world and how it can be such a beautiful and peaceful place. And I guess thank you for helping me be human and giving me hope in a time when I didn't really have much. Shout out. And one last one. Shout out to you guys being the awesomest audience we've ever had. Yeah, you can applaud. Pat yourself on the back. Here you go, Mr. Chapin. I'll stop talking. Thank it's you, all man. you. Thank you. A couple more thank yous, and then uh, we're going to dismiss, so please pay attention, uh, especially at the dismissal part. But I want to give some more uh, thank yous. First of all, all the performers, man, all the hard work you guys put in. That was a fantastic show. Give it up for those guys. Also, you guys know you have the best staff ever, ever, ever. Um, give it up for our staff. Thank you guys for, uh, thanks for your patience with this show and the crazy schedule and letting us do what we do. So once again, thanks staff for that. Um, the talent show crew, man, we started planning this thing back in January. Uh, yeah, believe it or not. Um, had a crew get together and decide, uh, had a lot of people try out this year, and unfortunately we couldn't keep everybody, but uh, uh, great crew, it was a lot of fun, um, so give it up for our talent show crew, please. And how about our MCs here, Matt Change, Ryland Fawcett. Um, thank you guys, you guys did a fantastic job, made this show uh Amazing, so thank you guys. And uh, two more people to thank. Uh, one is this guy over here, Jake Seriani. Yeah. Um, I know we always talk about it's uh, someone else's turn to take to step up and, and take over, and, and someone's going to have to take his job, but there are certain people that you can't replace, and I think uh, it's easy to say that Jake Seriani is one of those people. So thank you, Jake. Thank you so much. And last but not least, uh, this uh, this person I handed over the duties to this year of taking over the talent show, which, you know, if, you, if you're a freshman, you look around and see what a big show this is and for how long we've been sitting here, it's a big job. And so you got to give it up for Ayani. You've got to stand up, please. Man, this girl. What a great show. Thank you, Ayan, for all your hard work. All right, um, so we, uh, we have to dismiss, unfortunately. You're going to go back to fourth period. Yes, and we'll go over how we're going to do this. You guys are actually going to help us out today, if you will. Um, first off, the choir chairs. Cash Money, will you grab one of those black chairs right there and hold them up?